Welcome back. You are watching a web version of this interview that we're having with uh, Horatio Hartz. He was so interesting, we thought we would uh, take a couple extra minutes and deliver this to you. And, and, and I think you're going to ask the question I think we'd yeah, all want to ask. I, what mm. is, a, it's a question about a question. What's the number one question people ask you when they find out that you've been to San Quentin? Uh, people want to know what is the biggest change from being inside and outside, and that is um, the engagement I see with people with technology. Um, before I went to prison, you know, uh, no one was looking at their phones on BART, you know, and now on BART, everyone's just disengaged with the riders and they're in their own world, and it's like, <laughs> it's crazy. So it's that big of a, because for us it's been this gradual change, right? You know, as we've all gotten smartphones. But for you it's that, really though. this you drastic. You stand in line to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's, do you have an iPhone or Android? Do you have a phone, smartphone I do, now? I do have a smartphone. Um, still <laughs> learning the. He, he sent me something on Gmail the other day, and I'm like, I, or G Drive. Or, oh, I'm like, yeah, 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 uh, hold on, I, I kind of know how to do this. I, uh, you can walk me through it. What um, if, if you ran. San Quentin, understanding that people go to prison to be punished mm. and to be hopefully re rehabilitated as well. With those understandings, what would you do at San Quentin if you ran the place? I would make sure that everyone, well, San Quentin is unique. San Quentin is a very unique uh, prison. Um, everything that they should be doing, they're doing. Um, now, if you look at other prisons, higher levels, um, they don't have access to the self-help programs that inmates at San Quentin have, uh, such as the last mile. Um, they don't have access to the Prison University Project, uh, Patton University, where I graduated and received a Associate of Arts degree. Uh, I would implement these uh, educational opportunities to every prison. Isn't, isn't that funny? That, that's not the expectation I got of yeah. San Quentin is such a famous prison. You wouldn't say, actually, San Quentin's one of the, they, there's a base Baseball, two baseball teams, yeah, right. the only uh, prison newspaper in the United States. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going right. on there. Mm -hmm. All right, well, give me some change. Uh, I mean, you, you've got the floor, the warden's okay, watching, so. you know, the guys are watching. What, what, what would you change? I would change, I would say, uh, I would have more job skills training. There's, I think, two Volks. So I would make sure that there's uh, at least four or five folks and, and guys, vo vocational, vocational uh, training skills. Okay, sure. Yeah, and uh, and also I would have job placement for these guys when they got out. I think that's going to be key. Otherwise, uh, they're just going right back in. Yeah, yeah. You learn these skills, but how are you going to apply them? So definitely, I would change uh, that transition process. All right. And then lastly, you want to give your uh, your email or some way of contacting, or shall I handle it for you? I mean, if uh, somebody's interested in... Definitely. Um, Horatio H. Hartz uh, at gmail.com. Also, you can... I'm starting... To, I've started a campaign, uh, rally.org slash paving the road to success, which will actually <laughs> provide money for guys, graduates of the last mile, to purchase cell phones, uh, clothing, food, some of those immediate needs to support their first 60 days when they get out of prison. So yeah, that's that's one of the biggest uh, challenges guys have. When they get out of prison, they have, they receive $200 and that's it. So without that support, it's gonna be a tough time for them. So I wanna help solve that problem. Horatio Hartz, thank you for sticking around with us and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you.